Imagine stepping into a sepia-toned time capsule where the gritty streets of post-World War II New York City whisper secrets of a bygone era. The year was 1948, and the silver screen brought to life the Naked City, a cinematic masterpiece that would etch indelible memories into the minds of those fortunate enough to witness it. As you watched, did the stark black and white visuals of a metropolis in transformation awaken your senses? Or did the iconic line, there are eight million stories in the Naked City, this has been one of them, echo in your mind long after the credits rolled? The Naked City was no ordinary film. It was a glimpse into the urban tapestry, a labyrinth of alleyways, bridges, and hidden corners where the city's heartbeat throbbed with stories untold. As the cameras panned through the bustling streets, did you find yourself captivated by the raw authenticity of its characters and the relentless pursuit of justice by the film's detectives? Or perhaps you were drawn into the film's dramatic crescendo, where the city itself became a central character in the unfolding narrative. But before we delve into the intriguing facts that surround this cinematic gem, take a moment to reflect on your very first encounter with the Naked City and the memories it etched into your consciousness. The magic of the silver screen can transcend time and place, and this 1948 classic certainly left an indelible mark on all who crossed its path. Now, let's journey deeper into the heart of this Mar masterpiece and unveil some random facts that will rekindle your fascination with this iconic film. Buckle up as we explore the hidden gems that make The Naked City a timeless classic. The Naked City, a 1948 film directed by Jules Dassin, marked a significant departure from the typical crime dramas of its time. Inspired by the gritty streets of New York City, the film adopted a documentary-style approach, using real locations and non-professional actors to create a palpable sense of authenticity. The story revolves around a murder investigation in the city, following Detective James Halloran and his partner as they unravel the case. The film's iconic closing line, there are eight million stories in the naked city, this has been one of them, has become etched in cinematic history. This unique blend of procedural crime drama with a focus on the city itself made the naked city a groundbreaking work that has had a lasting influence on the crime genre in film and television. Its legacy lives on in the likes of NYPD Blue and countless other productions that have embraced its realistic, street-level storytelling style. The 1948 movie The Naked City holds a special place in film history, with some interesting behind-the-scenes details. Life magazine described the film as producer Mark Hellinger's personal love letter to New York. Hellinger was deeply involved in the film's production, overseeing details, and shooting locations throughout the city. The movie's unique visual style was influenced by the renowned New York City crime photographer Arthur Ouija Felling. Ouija had published a book titled Naked City in 1945, which became an inspiration for the film. He even worked as an uncredited consultant on the project, leaving a lasting mark on its imagery. However, some argue that the post-war neorealism style, made famous by Italian classics like Bicycle Thieves in the same year, played a significant role, potentially overshadowing Ouija's influence. Notably, The Naked City marked the film debut of Ted DeCorsia. Additionally, several other actors, including Kathleen Freeman, Bruce Gordon, James Gregory, Nehemiah Persoff, and John Randolph, appeared in uncredited small roles, launching their careers. These aspects add depth and context to the making of this classic film, showcasing the meticulous efforts of Mark Hellinger, the influence of Arthur Ouija Felling, and the start of several noteworthy acting careers. The Naked City remains a testament to the rich history of cinema in New York. In the 1948 movie The Naked City, two ladies outside a dress shop mention being at the Waldorf Asteria Hotel with Frank singing. This likely refers to Frank Sinatra, who was a frequent guest at the hotel during its prime. The film's basic plot served as the foundation for a case in the video game lab. Noir by Rockstar Games. In the game, the story was relocated to 1940s Los Angeles. A noteworthy detail is that Barry Fitzgerald, who appeared in the movie, stood at a modest height of 5'3". This is notably shorter than the minimum height requirement of 58 for a New York City police officer at the time. And that's a concise glimpse into The Naked City, a film that continues to be relevant and influential even decades after its release. 
The Naked City, a 1948 movie, achieved cinematic significance for its pioneering use of over 100 exterior locations. This ambitious approach brought the gritty streets of New York City to life, providing a realistic backdrop for the film's crime drama narrative. Additionally, the film marked the debut of James Gregory, who appeared uncredited as a patrolman. Over his four-decade career, Gregory became renowned for portraying numerous law enforcement officers in both TV and film. His most memorable role was that of Inspector Frank Luger in the 1970s comedy series Barney Miller. Furthermore, the character Detective Pirelli, portrayed by Tom Petty in The Naked City, served as an inspiration for the role of Detective Frank Acaro. Portrayed by Harry Belaver in the later series Naked City, a decade after the original film's release. This connection between the film and the subsequent series demonstrates the lasting influence of the Naked City on crime dramas. In conclusion, the Naked City not only set a milestone by using an extensive number of exterior locations, but also contributed to the career of James Gregory and served as an inspiration for future crime dramas. Its impact on the world of film and television remains significant. The Naked City, released in 1948, is a classic film known for its grit and realism. It was shot in 84 days during the summer of 1947, capturing the sweltering heat of the city. This noir crime drama was also notable for being the film debut of Kathleen Freeman, who had an uncredited bit part on the elevated train. This small role marked the beginning of a remarkable career that spanned over 50 years, with hundreds of feature film and television roles to her name. One of the most intriguing aspects of the movie's history is the role of producer Mark Hellinger. He narrates the film but, tragically, passed away due to a heart attack before its release. Universal Pictures executives were uncertain about how to market the film and considered scrapping it, fearing it would be a box office failure. However, they were reminded that Hellinger's contract for the movie included a guarantee of release clause from Universal. Left with no choice, Universal decided to release the film in theaters. To their surprise, The Naked City turned out to be a hit, and even received two Oscars. Mark Hellinger was not only a producer, but also a beloved New York journalist. In his honor, a Broadway theater on West 51st Street was renamed after him. The journey of The Naked City from potential obscurity to cinematic success, along with the enduring career of Kathleen Freeman, adds fascinating layers to the film's history, making it a remarkable piece of Hollywood lore. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of 1,948 seconds The Naked City, let's take a moment to reflect on the enduring impact of this cinematic gem. This film, an iconic representation of the gritty underbelly of post-war New York City, has a way of etching itself into the hearts of those who have had the privilege of experiencing its narrative. It's not just a film, it's a time capsule, a portal to a bygone era, and an exploration of human nature in its rawest form. The characters, the streets, the shadows all intricately woven together to create a tapestry of suspense and intrigue. Now, dear reader, as you stand at the crossroads of memory, and imagination, we invite you to share your own personal connection with the Naked City. What moments struck a chord with you? Were there scenes that lingered in your thoughts long after the credits rolled? Perhaps you found yourself captivated by the moral complexities, the gritty realism, or the timeless beauty of the film's black and white cinematography. Let your thoughts flow, for it is in these reflections that the spirit of this cinematic masterpiece lives on. Share your favorite memories, your insights, your musings on the Naked City, and let the dialogue continue. It's through these shared experiences that we ensure the film's legacy endures. Thank you for your time and your interest in this cinematic journey through time and space. And remember, the story of the Naked City is not just a tale of crime and investigation, but a mirror to our own humanity. Until we meet again, keep those memories alive and keep exploring the rich tapestry of cinema. This outro was crafted with care and creativity just for you, and it's now time to say goodbye. Until next time, keep the silver screen alive in your heart. Farewell, and thank you for being a part of this moment of cinematic reflection.